There is often confusion when it comes to palliative and hospice care. In fact, you probably have even heard these terms used interchangeably. However, hospice and palliative care are not the same. While they have a lot in common, there are also some important differences. Join me this week as I discuss palliative and hospice care. Palliative care is specialized medical care for people living with a serious medical condition such as cancer, heart failure, Parkinson's disease, or dementia. Patients in palliative care may receive care for their symptoms in addition to treatment intended to cure their serious illness. Palliative care is meant to enhance a person's current care by focusing on quality of life for them and their family. Palliative care is a resource for anyone living with a serious illness. Palliative care may be helpful at any stage of the disease and is best provided soon after a person is first diagnosed. In addition to improving quality of life and helping with symptoms, palliative care can assist patients in understanding their choices for medical treatment. A palliative care team is made up of multiple different professionals who work with the patient, family, and the patient's other doctors. They provide medical, social, and emotional support. The team is comprised of palliative care specialist doctors and nurses and may also include social workers, nutritionists, and chaplains. A person's team may vary based on his needs and care level. To begin palliative care, a person's health care provider may refer him or her to a palliative care specialist. Alternatively, a patient can request palliative care from his or her medical provider. Palliative care can be provided in hospitals, nursing homes, outpatient palliative care clinics, other specialized care clinics, and at home. During a serious medical ailment, there may be a point in which curing the medical condition is no longer possible or the patient chooses to not undergo any more treatment. Hospice is designed for this situation. Hospice care focuses on the care, comfort, and quality of life for a person with a terminal illness whose doctor believes he or she has six months or less to live if the illness runs its natural course. Please note, in the United Kingdom, hospice care is usually called end-of-life care. End-of-life care can commence when a doctor believes a patient with a terminal illness has 12 months or less to live. Like palliative care, hospice provides comprehensive care as well as support for the family, but in hospice, attempts to cure the person's illness are stopped. A hospice team usually includes nurses, doctors, social workers, spiritual advisors, and trained volunteers. Everyone works together with the patient, caregiver, and or family to provide the needed support. A member of the hospice team visits regularly. Someone is usually available by phone 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Hospice is an approach to care. It is not tied to a specific place. It can be offered in the home or in a medical facility such as a nursing home, hospital, or hospice center. Here are some of the similarities and differences between palliative care and hospice care. For palliative care, anyone with a serious medical condition can receive this service. For hospice care, a person who has a serious medical condition and whose doctors believe he or she has six months or less to live can receive this service. For both palliative and hospice care, symptoms will be relieved as much as possible. With palliative care, treatment can be continued to cure any medical condition or illness. In hospice care, no medical treatment is provided except relief from symptoms. For both palliative care and hospice care, the services can be received in the home, assisted living facility, nursing home, or hospital. Before deciding to enter hospice care, please thoroughly talk with medical staff and your insurance company about what services will and will not be covered while on hospice. 
Most hospice plans do not allow a person to receive life-extending medical intervention. This may include using a ventilator and or IV nutrition called TPN. If a person is dependent on these treatments, entering hospice may end access to these services. A family shared with me a loved one had a serious, life-ending medical condition. Their loved one had a tracheostomy tube and needed a ventilator to breathe. The family talked with the hospice care team about entering hospice. Their loved one met the criteria and was accepted into a hospice facility. After conversing with the medical staff, the family left for the day. The family was not informed that having a tracheostomy tube and using a ventilator is considered life-extending medical intervention. Once the family signed care over to the hospice center, they gave the medical staff the ability to disconnect their family member from his ventilator. As soon as the family exited the building, medical staff turned off the patient's ventilator. Four minutes later, the person died. When the family learned of this egregious act, they were devastated and enraged. They wanted me to share their story with you. Please, before entering hospice, know and understand what services will and will not be continued. You may be giving medical personnel the right to kill you. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye-bye.